Tonight, at least two dozen Iowa State troopers are in Del Rio, Texas, assisting Border Patrol and State Patrol down there. In an agreement between Iowa and Texas made their 16 day mission possible, the Texas Department of Public Safety shared more on what Iowa's troopers are providing. Iowa troopers right now, um, they are embedded with our Texas troopers. Uh, they're riding with our Texas troopers on the roadways, on the highways, and then we have some of the Iowa investigators that are also working with our criminal investigators. Um, and what they do is they focus on certain cases that involve uh, border security, um, narcotics, smuggling. So they're working alongside with them. Olivares says Iowa's troopers won't join their Texas counterparts until later this week. So what you're seeing right now is Florida troopers and other Florida law enforcement joining their Texas counterparts. And we also now have more insight into why Texas asked for Iowa's help in the Del Rio area. We're the second busiest sector in the nation. The Border Patrol chief of the Del Rio sector calls the surge in migrants there unprecedented, and he says many migrants try walking across the Rio Grande River because they think it's shallow, but that often leads to rescue missions. He says the team there is overwhelmed. We're seeing on average 1,000, 1,040 uh, people a day. We don't have enough agents on staff to deal with those kinds of numbers. So far this year, heat exposure and drownings took the lives of 66 migrants. The heat, rough landscape, and multiple rescues a day make it a challenge for agents there to save lives. Four states have sent law enforcement to the area at the request of Texas. In total, 230 additional officers are helping the border and state patrol in Texas. Olivares says troopers there in an assisting capacity, meaning they cannot make arrests. According to the Texas Division of Emergency Management, states also provided tactical boats and patrol aircraft. None of that is from Iowa. The largest equipment Iowa provided, according to the agreement, was vehicles.